Do, do you feel it's uh, important for Indian companies to be formed in India and then, um, you know, serve the rest of the world versus- It doesn't, work, doesn't matter. Doesn't, see, this is the, this is the you know, it's, it's, uh, Sanjeev Bichandani, right? Uh, I've heard of him, who is he? No, notary, right, Sanjeev Bichandani. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's a very good friend. You know, he's a very successful entrepreneur. Yeah, he wrote the damn blog that you know, the foreign VCs and foreign you know, the entrepreneurs and new East Asia company. And I called him up. I said, "What's the matter with you?" He says, "Well, you know, you know all these companies are farming in, in Delaware. Yeah, you know, why can't we have them in India?" I said, "Ask why do entrepreneurs feel compelled to form companies in Delaware and Singapore and not in India?" Why is India, you know, there's a reason, these guys are not stupid people, they're not unpatriotic people. Unless you can tell them they are unpatriotic, there's a reason because they don't want to be under the thumbs of Indian bureaucrats. Rules are very capricious, very arbitrary, ever-changing. So me as an investor, I don't want to invest, I have to invest for 10 plus years. Yeah, I need to have a stable environment. I need to you know, be able to see what sort of, you know, you know, what rules under which I'm trying to change. I invest and rules change overnight. And that has happened, you know, I, I, yeah, we, by the way, we have left India as, as investors, as, you know, as a result. It's impossible to keep track of, of what are the rules of the game. So you turn to Delaware, you have a stable environment, stable set of rules. You, know, you become, you, know, you raise your money with, in a, put the money in Delaware to be, there's an Indian subsidiary which is subject to Indian rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the ownership is here. So, but from a practical point of view, it doesn't matter. It's where you create jobs, where you create wealth by paying that salary. Yeah. So, so, so I, I wouldn't worry about about where the company is incorporated as long as it creates jobs in India, right? But I. I have a problem that you know, the Indian environment after all these years, they still not been able to provide a stable, predictable set of rules. Yeah, and which is, you know, which is where, 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 you know, where I speak more and more. Yeah, so you don't tell me that all these Indian entrepreneurs are unpatriotic and, and, and yeah, they are very patriotic people. They don't want to look any place, but they are compelled because they can't get the funding from, you know, you know. By, by the way, all of India entrepreneurs, there's not much funding. If I have a million entrepreneurs and each of them needs half a million dollars, I need to have $500 billion of new funding every year. All of the Indian funding potential is about 20, 30, 40 billion dollars. That's it. Because India does not welcome the capital. India does not have provide the you know, stable rules. India does not provide, you know, so, so this is about to be nationalist. You know, it, you know, first rule of, so what is my policy to all India? And what should be my policy to all India? I, I tell you only one policy to all. How do I create millions of jobs in India for Indians? It should trump everything else. I got a large number of people to be implied. Anybody who comes and creates jobs in India is a friend of India. It doesn't care where the ownership is. Or ownership doesn't matter because he brought the capital, he owns it, but he implies a yeah, thousand people here. Is welcome, right? That's not what we're trying to do. We we want to create a local venture capital community, right? That's what we, that's the uh, state policy. Role. So let me tell you what the problem is. That one Indians are used to buying gold and holding gold. Indians are used to buying land and holding land because they never trusted anybody. The Indians are not investing in long-term risky businesses, right? So where does the risk capital come from? Almost all the risk capital in India is coming from overseas. And India, Indian government says, we need to have our own. But they can't create their own. So what they do is let's stop the other ones from coming and the lottery will emerge. Lottery will not emerge. Lottery will not emerge. You don't have to have a fundamental change, right? You have to have a fundamental change in mindset. So, so, so I'm saying, meanwhile, you're not creating jobs in India. China and India were at the same level in entrepreneurship. If anything, India was ahead in mid nineties, you know, when the IT companies were taking over the world. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, what happened? Yeah. Yeah. 
we didn't let anybody manufacture in India. Yeah, China said, come and get low level jobs. Yeah, 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 please employ our people. China lifted 600 million people out of poverty in that time frame. 600 million. They started at a low level menial jobs and now, yeah. You know, see, you move up, you move up in, you, know, you have a job, you have, you have money, you educate your children, they have a better job. You know, you know. See, you move up, you cannot leap, you cannot jump up to this you know, high paying jobs for everybody. You got, India has, but close to 600, 700 million young people. You were unemployed, underemployed. You, know, you got to find them some job. So she had a very long game. Yeah, I start somewhere, 20, 30 years, Vietnam. Vietnam is a lesson. Vietnam only got independence. And look at Vietnam and India. They are night difference. Vietnam was way behind. They are way ahead of us now, way ahead of us. So, so, so being nationalist means, you know, you think nationally, long-term, unemotionally. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I don't want to become yeah, too much of a preacher, but yeah. but but, the, but this that's uh, that's me very quickly because uh, India underperforms its potential. It disappoints and dis it disappoints frequently. I am not the smartest man, smartest Indian you will ever meet. Peter Pallada's, you know, maybe a thousand times smarter than I was. Yeah, I know uh, uh, Indians were. Very smart, and I know there are lots of them in India. <laughs> so what's, what's the problem, right? What problem? Yeah, you know, why aren't yeah they between fine? Yeah, yeah. We talked about yeah, you know, India has about forty thousand entrepreneurs. That's the number, right? And yeah, you know, name, name ten companies which have done really well in India. Entrepreneurial companies. Yeah, it's it's a stretch. It's a stretch, right? But uh, you want me to name Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> It's easy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the point I'm trying to make that we need to play this game as it should be played. Yeah, we need to let a large number of people play, let the money come from all over. Yeah. Bide our time, 30 years from now, yeah, we do what China is doing now. China, China it kept their head low, yeah, didn't make any waves, right? Yeah, did, yeah, until they started to arrive, right? That's what India needs to do. Keep your head low, okay, stay humble. You know, please come, please employ our people. Yeah, yeah, please set up your manufacturer here. Yeah, 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 you're very welcome. 20 years, 30 years from now, all those investments are there. All of our people have been trained. All of our people have become entrepreneurs and, 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 and managers. Let's start then, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they, you know, I, I, in spite of all this, India will do well, you know, but it's, the pace is slower than it should be. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to happen in my lifetime. I am 75, I'll be 76 in a few months. You know, it's not going to happen in my lifetime. I was hoping yeah. at one time it will happen in my lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah let's go through your list. You have anything else on your list? Uh, well, uh, I'll, I think, I think that